Hi Steve! Hi! Nice to meet! So, uh, we saw your covered wagon here. That looks so cool. Thanks. Um, would you mind telling us about it and show us what um, you're doing? Yeah, I don't mind at all. So, it's a 5 by 8 trailer with, um, you know, that I built a covered wagon on. Um, it's about 6 foot 1 in the center and about 6 foot 1 this way too. So I have plenty of room to like sleep and stuff. The, um, the outer canvas is a plastic coated canvas, like um, use it for sails on ships and stuff. And then I have a layer of reflective insulation and then an inside layer of fabric too. Nice. So it's, yeah, it's toasty. I spent a winter in Pennsylvania in it, so. Yeah. And you can tow it with the car, is it yeah. SUV? Yep, like Subaru Forester. Nice. I had that first and that has a weight restriction of 2,000 pounds. So even the pre-made ones are 1,500 pounds dry weight. So yeah. I knew I had to um, opt for something different. Yeah. And I got a chance to build my first little house. So. Awesome. Yeah. Well, it looks so cute. Thanks. Oh my goodness. You know what yeah, look at that. Now we are in the desert, so the floor is dusty. And there's nothing I can do about that. Yeah, uh, uh, uh. That's like a real like um, a cabin vibe there with the... That's so cute. Thanks. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's take a look here. Yeah, there's, there's the bed, there's a sofa. You, you yeah, got a sofa, bench you can and stuff. lounge. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I've got all my uh, kitchen stuff and pots and pans underneath, under bed storage. I have hanging shirts on the left and then, you know, storage on the right. Yeah, yeah. A little fridge. Super cool. Counter. Thanks. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Man, that's so cozy. Thank you. Home sweet home. That's sweet. And, um,. So obviously you cannot fit solar panels on the roof. So what do you do for power? So I have um, an external solar panel. Uh -huh. Both of like a folding suitcase type that I sit out right there. Mm -hmm. And then I have um, the cables run into a port on this side that I drilled in. Yeah. And then my batteries are just on the inside of that port there. Oh, nice. So yeah, and that keeps you charged and yep. uh, works out nicely. Sure it does. Did you have a channel or something? A high tech. Oh yeah, well, let's do that. And your YouTube channel is the high, the high Tech Hobo. That's correct. So when did you start? Um, August 2016, I started building it. And then August 2017, I was done and I hit the road mm -hmm. from Pennsylvania out here. Yeah. And uh, are you retired? Are you still working? No, I work. Yeah, I go to different cities and I work and mm -hmm. travel. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just left Big Sur. I was working there for the summer. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, well, obviously in this lifestyle the uh, cost of living is very low. So yeah, but there's a, I mean there's also drawbacks. Um, you know, getting a good job like in a city, I can't really park this in a city somewhere. Right, right. So right. Um, yeah, it's a lot of uh, internet work or yeah. Do they let you park in an RV park? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. They... Some, some because some yeah. have restrictions that have to be manufactured by a company and blah blah. blah. Yeah, but so, some are okay with it. And, and it's then... so cute that people are like, yeah, come on in. You know? <laughs> Absolutely. What do you do for a living? Computer stuff mostly, uh -huh. but I've been doing everything. I just got off the gig um, in Big Sur doing like a day use attendance uh -huh. at a beach. So yeah, cool. um, that's what I'm doing. I'm traveling around, working, cool. exploring America. Cool. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for showing this. You're this you you did fantastic. Thanks, I appreciate it. I had help. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thanks. I appreciate it.